In this video, we're going to look at how to get more strategies and give them a test. Let's have a look in our folder, FT User Data. We have a file called Docker Compose. We have a file called Config, and we have a file called Strategy. These are the three files that we are going to start investigating. Let's begin by opening VS Code and making a couple of changes. In Explorer, in Explorer, let's open a folder. Free trade, because that's where we are. In fact, we'll go one deeper, FT user data. Docker Compose. The first thing I want to do is to simplify this by removing all the comments. Next, I'm going to make a folder for the databases. And over here, in the user data folder, I'm going to make a folder called the databases. And I'm going to move the three database files into databases. This will make perfect sense later on. So let's grab a couple of strategies. You'll find quite a few dotted around the internet. Uh, I will start with the ones that are actually on the Freak Trade website. So here's a few. This one's supposed to be very good. So let's download the file. Let's put it straight into the strategies folder. And just for the fun of it, let's grab another one. Okay, so we now have two strategies. You'll see that one is called MACD strategy, and the other one is called strategy number two. So let's go back over to our config, and I'm going to copy it here and copy it again. I am going to call this config strat2. And the other copy I will rename to config macd. So all these are the same. For now, later on, as you explore the software, you will end up changing and having different configs running with different strategies. And finally, let's go back over to our Docker Compose file and edit this so that we get the other bots running. This is the first bot. Let's, let's copy everything and paste it twice. So, this one we are going to copy the name of the strategy 
and put it as the strategy name. The config file we already renamed to con underscore macd. The database names don't want any conflicts. Even the log file will change that. The port has to be changed. The container name has to be changed and even the service. Likewise with strategy 02, we have to use the identical strategy name. The config file we called strat2, so con underscore strat2. The database files I'm going to call strat2. The log files I'm going to call strat2. This one can now be 82. The container name can be strat2. And the bot name, the service, can be called bot. Oops, bot2 or strat2. We don't need to save because we've already got autosave, so that's it. And finally, let's return to our configuration files just to make a couple of changes. The original config is simply called freak trade, but over here in Core's Origins, I strongly advise you to type in the address of your local host. To avoid any problems, we'll copy that. MacD, again at the bottom, we want the course origins and the name. This was MacD and strategy 2. We need the course origins. And the name, Stra2. Let me just make sure I put quotes. No, I left out the quotes. Okay, now we're ready to fire right up. So remember, make sure the Docker desktop is running. No containers to get in the way. Let's go over to our FT user data, open a PowerShell, type in Docker Compose up. If you put the switch minus D, you won't see the logging. It will, it will still show up in the browser. So containers are created, three robots, and it appears that they're all up and running. So let's go over to our browser. Type in localhost colon 8080. And let's start adding bots. The original was Freak Trade with a username and password FQ. It's up and running. Now we're going to add the other two bots. One was called MacD on 81. Again, FQFQ. FQ. And the last one was Strat2 on 82. Now we can enjoy seeing three bots running in real time with practice money. We can see summaries all together or individually, which is good fun. 
Take note that trade chart and logs are specific to the strategy that you chose at the beginning. So if I choose trade, this is what's going on with strategy 002. We can see for Bitcoin, we've got entry points and exit points. If we want to see the other strategies, we actually have to choose them here and then go to these wind, these tabs. Okay, so we now have three bots up and running. Remember when you've finished to control C and Docker Compose down to remove the containers, then close the browser. You don't want to corrupt any files. Have a good day.